Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Vintage Cameras and Film Tips, where we look at yesterday's cameras and today's film photography. I'm Dennis, and today we're going to take a look at a Lloyd's 35mm bulk film loader. Price of film and everything, I decided I needed to get one of these again. I used to have some years ago, and I always used Watson's. But I just started shopping around, and the price of the used ones were outrageous. I was going to buy a new one, and then I found this one probably from the 70s. So uh, let's take a closer look at it. We're going to take a look at this Lloyd's, the Daylight Bulk Film Winder. And this is probably from the 70s, the looks of the um, instructions that was in it. And I've used Watson's before, but this is the first Lloyd's I've ever had. So it's kind of kind of new to me. So anyway, this is the um, the main cog here that keeps it sealed from, from um, getting exposed. So you take this off. And yes, there's film inside. I bought it that way, but I also know it was exposed film because she had this stuck in there and told me it was in there. So, but it worked out great. I'm able to show you a video of how it loads up. You have your bulk film. Now remember, this is in this is in darkness. You got to have complete darkness so you don't expose any of your film. Set the film down on top. This goes right here in this big slot right there. And then in the dark, you're still doing all this stuff. You put this back on. Put your red cover on real tight. So now you have your film in the light tight part. You can come out and turn the lights on from wherever you're at because now we're in the daylight part of it. So this part drops down. Here's our film. Now remember, whatever you're pulling out here is going to get exposed. So here's our canister. You got to have canisters of some kind. Uh, this is a plastic one. I used to have a bunch of metal ones that were really nice. Some people reuse canisters, but um, I've never done that. So anyway, I had to get some new ones, so I bought these plastic ones. So it comes apart that way. It's just got a twist, a twist on it. And if you can see this tab right here, I don't know if you can see it. What can be done is, is you put it about a, I don't know, three eighths of an inch away from the front, and then it'll, it'll actually go and it'll be even with this part right here. Now what we'll do, the reel will go this way, this part to the left. We're going to put some masking tape onto the onto it, and we'll just lay it like over a little bit. We're going to wrap the tape around, and we're actually going to tape the back. Now you're good. Won't come off. It should wind really well. So now, slide your canister back on. Make sure you get it through the felt slot. And I got that tab. Right there. Now remember, don't pull out any more film than you have to because you're just wasting it because it's going to expose it. So whatever you pull out, if you pull out that much, you've, you've wasted that much. So try only to pull out maybe three inches and uh, do what you need to do. So say, so just about that much, probably you can do it because otherwise you're just wasting your film. So now we're going to slide this back in. We're going to slide this up and it's going to it's going to press because what's going to happen is if you don't have this pressed up just right your crank is not going to go in all the way it'll stay out like this so just make sure you press that in tight if you can't get it pressed in tight open it up because you didn't do, put something in right or your film's getting in the way so anyway we've got our canister in and like i didn't push any in or anything it's just taped on there so we cut, shut the, make it light tight again. Put the handle back on. Now then, it has readings here. 36 exposures, 31 turns. 24 exposures, 24 turns. 18 exposures, 18 turns. That's probably 19 turns. 10 exposures, 13 turns. 
Now I'm going to use uh, probably the 10 exposures because I test a lot of cameras and I don't want to waste a lot of film because if it doesn't turn out, then you just wasted film. And a lot of times I'm not shooting anything in particular, just to be, to just to be testing. T so I'm going to do the 13. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to give it a 14 and a 15. That's just to give me a little extra. Probably don't need it. Now we're ready to take our canister out. So we got to take our handle out. Now this will open up. We take this out and we're going to cut it about right there. Close it back up. Shove our handle back in and we're done with it for today. Now what we're going to do is here's a manufactured reel, Artista film. So you see the top here, so they're facing this way. So now we're going to cut our film just like this is cut. That should do it. And so there we got our cut. And we're going to throw this in a canister. And we're all ready for when we need our film next time. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would really be greatly appreciated. Grab your camera, some film, get out and take some pictures. See you in the next video.